Life in Dew Valley. Dew Valley is a very interesting little area that we live in. We live on a very little road called Dew. D-E-W, Dew Valley. And what happens is on our property, in the early summer, there's so much dew in the morning. I assume that's why they called it Dew, and I call it Valley. We live in a little valley. There is a ridge line behind us. And with our old 1963 mobile home, it's taken really good care of because it's not weathered with all of the storm. Somehow stuff seems to just go right on by. Today here on Dew Valley, nothing exciting is happening, but we are making a very different meal, and it's American goulash. And it is a recipe that's in the 99 cent book. It's a very interesting book, and I've been cooking a lot of recipes in it. Welcome and enjoy the day spending it with, with me. I will have the full recipe in the description box below. It is American goulash. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut up one onion, finely chopped. Then we're going to add some pasta sauce, some noodles, and we're going to cook it. And it's absolutely amazing. It is one of our favorites now. And it's just so simple. And the reason why it is the 99 cent recipe is because you're really not using that much ground beef. Now, of course, when this book was written, ground beef was a lot cheaper. I am able to save this so much because my ground beef I bought for a little over a dollar a pound. And it was an amazing, amazing deal that we had. But let's go ahead and let's get it all started. Working in the kitchen together gets a lot of work done. Kenny is sauteing the ground beef. I'm adding some cheese to the noodles. Now it doesn't call for cheese, but of course we have to have a little bit of our canned cheese. Noodles and the pasta sauce and the goulash goes in the oven. This is how we work together in the kitchen. There's always a flurry of activity. And yes, in case you're asking, we did a double recipe so we could give some to our children. When I cook, I still cook for a big family. Even though it's just my husband and I, I still love to cook and give food to our family. Mozzarella cheese is really what this needs. With that mozzarella cheese, it just topped it off perfecto. It was absolutely so good. I marked it on the cookbook that this is a favorite recipe. The children loved it. I also wanted to try this new monkey bread recipe. I never make these kind of meals, but this was absolutely amazing for dessert and it's something I've never made before. All we're going to do is put some dinner rolls. We're going to take some butterscotch pudding, a little bit of butter and a little bit of brown sugar, and voila, you have it finished. It's so simple and easy. So what you do is you're going to put this on the kitchen counter the night before, let it rise overnight, and by morning you are able to bake it. It's so easy. 
So the next thing we're doing here is we're just taking one envelope of the butterscotch pudding. Make sure it's the cooked kind, not the instant. And then we're going to add a little bit of brown sugar syrup on top. Of course, that recipe will be in the description box below. And it makes the most amazing monkey bread. I always make my own homemade rolls, but because I had some left, I decided to use these today as the rolls for in our meal. They're actually really nice, and they were pretty frugal as well. I think they were like $4, and it was a lot of them. I don't know if there's a lot of preservatives in them, but it was fun for something different to just take some of these out and see how they would rise and see how they would taste. By the way, spoiler alert, they were amazing. I had to do the voiceover today. I hope you don't mind. But our house had our children there, and it was just so busy. And I thought, well, I'll just do some voiceovers, and you can see what the food looks like. Add a little bit of my seasonings to it. And I cannot wait to share it with the rest of my family. And now my real chores begin. Laundry time. At least the sun is shining after so much rain. It's nice to have the sun shine, and it's nice to have the rain, but I am ready for summer. So let me get this finished, and then I'll clean out the kitchen, and then I'll show you what those cinnamon rolls look like, or sticky buns, how we call them here at home. Thank you. 